Um, my name is Carmela Mambo, and uh, the title of my EPQ is a uh, Neo Renaissance. Whether or not we're experiencing a modern day Harlem Renaissance, and I created an artifact which is an homage to the uh, particular figures and um, celebrities that I think that represent that in modern day. So my EPQ is an artifact, a book that I created. Uh, I did five portraits of paintings and they're all, there's one that has two figures in it because they're kind of, their stories intertwine with one another and kind of reflect the different aspects of the same topic that I was focusing on. But the first one was on Beyonce, which is um, regarding femininity and body empowerment. And the second one is um, about Kendrick Lamar and survival and kind of the survivor's guilt of kind of escaping um, cycles that um, happen in America for African Americans. And then the third one is Tupac and Biggie together, which is about stereotypes and also breaking stereotypes because they did both at the same time. Um, the fourth one is about Maya Angelou and it's about scholarship and education. And the fifth one is Michael Jackson on complexion and race. And so my EPQ is basically about whether or not the things that contributed towards the movement that was the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s and 30s, whether or not those same um, features are happening within our community in modern day and how does that reflect on our community and benefit for us. Um, so I knew I wanted to do something about um, African Americans because I was born in California as well as like having a Nigerian upbringing and living in a um, multi-ethnic um, town um, in London, in North London, but I wanted to focus on the American aspect of my heritage because I focus on a lot of the African heritage in my other subjects, so I was looking at the Black History timeline um, of African Americans and I thought that because I'm an art scholar and art's something that I'm very interested in and passionate about, I wanted to focus on an artistic movement that's benefited or contributed to our history. And so I thought that um, the Harlem Renaissance was something that uh, a lot of people talk about historically, but not artistically. So I thought that that was some, an interesting take, but then also to apply it to my um, generation and uh, where I'm currently in in my life. Um, so I thought that focusing on people who have affected me and people my age, as well as many more generations to come, I thought that that was very significant and a powerful thing to pick up on. And so um, that's why I chose this subject. <laughs> the most challenging part about the EPQ process is actually um, finding relevant material because you can always, um, you're attracted to certain um, subjects, topics, but to create your own unique question and answer it carefully is the most significant part about doing an EPQ. And you have to find um, relevant information and then tailor it towards your question and make sure that you're not just writing or collecting useless things because you have like such a long span of time to be doing it and it can you procrastinate or you put you favor other things and then you realize that you've kind of wasted a lot of time and the material that you spent your time collecting isn't um, applicable to your topic and then eventually when you're doing a bibliography you need to find relevant and keep up to date with your um, newspapers and articles so logging it and making sure that all the tedious things they're as is as important as the final piece that you create so i think that just being very structured time management um over the course of two years is very very important and that's probably the the most strenuous aspect of doing an epq um what i've learned from doing an epq is that you just really need to be focused and independent because you do get a lot of assistance and you have a lot of um, material to draw from, but at the same time that can also be kind of intimidating because you have so much li um, liberty to do what you um, want to. Um, the type of support you get isn't what you're um, accustomed to in class, so you get people telling you what to do in some aspects or just kind of um, showing you the right direction to follow, but with an EPQ, there's only a certain amount of assistance you're allowed to have and you have to take on the responsibility and the task to complete all the deadlines and find out what you need and do it um, efficiently and effectively so that you get a good grade at the end of the day and you've enjoyed your pro um, time doing your EPQ because if you're doing something you don't enjoy, then it becomes a hassle. <laughs> I would recommend doing an EPQ to lots of people just because um, 
being able to do something that you enjoy um, within an academic environment kind of prepares you for uh, your future prospects and what you do in university because um, at the end of the day you should study something that you love and in the EPQ you can kind of pick a subject but then find a little niche part of it that you really enjoy and turn it into something that you can spend whole two years like investigating and just thoroughly like um, going through all of the information and reading all of the things that there are that there is available to you because um, I think it's a really important thing to be encouraged and be supported to do something that you love but then also do it to such a high degree that you get some uh, an acknowledgement for it because it's something to be proud of because in a sense it is your own subject that you do independently without teachers and so at the end of the day what you do produce is something incredible.